not ready to enter phase three. Governor Steve Sisolak says the coronavirus is putting the brakes on the reopening for Nevada. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey right now live near the strip with more on why we will stay in phase two for a little bit longer. Sean. Kalina, the governor's announcement brought both good news and bad news for people hoping to see more business and an end to this pandemic. First, the bad news. Sisolak says that positive cases have increased steadily for the last three weeks. The number of people hospitalized by the coronavirus has also increased steadily since the fifth of this month. In response, Sisolak asked people to double down on social distancing guidelines that have been laid out since the beginning of this pandemic, wearing masks, keeping six feet of distance, and staying home when possible. Sisolak says that the risk of not staying safe is not a delay in opening. The risk is shutting down again. We're not in the post-COVID time. We're in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic. We're right dead smack in the middle of it. And I do not want to lose. Nevadans have made enormous sacrifices. Now the good news. Sisolak says the percent of people testing positive compared to the total number of tests is steady at 5%. That's down from 12% to the beginning of the shutdown. Experts also say that the hospitalization rate is steady and well within the range of hospi that hospitals can handle. Sisolak also says that they tripled their contract tracing ability over the weekend, allowing them to better track and contain cases. Now, coming up in a half an hour, I'll tell you all about how the government is trying to fix their massive budget shortfall, even as they pump the brakes on reopening business. Again, that's coming up in a half an hour. But for now, Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.